Oh, Taylor, if you love animals, talk about a fun way to liven up a birthday party or really any special event. And Kelly Russell from Ferrets and Friends is here with some special guests. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Kelly. So first of all, Theo's over here. She offered to be the snake wrangler. So we're going to talk about Devin the snake in just mm -hmm. a moment. But wow, Devin, I think he's your new fashion statement, Theo. It's like a brooch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> An awesome, awesome brooch. All right, we're going to talk about Devin the ball python in just a second. But first, you have another exotic mm -hmm. bird. So we're just going to take a seat peek at her. So this is Missy in here. I'm going to give her a treat oh, wow. just to make sure she's feeling comfy. Okay. So she is an oh, eclectus parrot. Oh wow. Um, wow she's so beautiful. she's native to Solomon's Islands off of Australia. Wow, she's absolutely gorgeous. And so she tell is. us about Ferrets and Friends. So we are a local company. Mm -hmm. We do animal shows for school programs, birthday parties, community events. Um, so animal education mm -hmm. and you can go pretty much anywhere because these yep. guys travel really well. Yep, they do. They're, they're pros at it. And they are exotic. So who's our little dude over here? This is Lizard of Oz. He is a bearded dragon. Oh, wow. So it's actually pretty common as a pet. Mindy um, Becerra loves bearded dragons. I think they have two of them. Yeah. Uh, they're fantastic. What's cool about a bearded dragon? So they're called bearded dragons because they have this little kind of mm -hmm. pouch under his throat. And if he's getting scared or feeling a little defensive, he can puff it out, turn it black, and kind of say, I'm a big, scary lizard. You don't want to mess with All me. All right. Well, Lizard of Oz is pretty <laughs> chill over here. But then we have our, our parrot in the middle. And then mm -hmm. we have this super awesome chameleon. Oh, he's yeah, so that's so Ali. Neat. He's wow. a veiled chameleon. So he's native to Saudi Arabia and Yemen. Um, so he is striking a pose for you guys right now. He really is. Does he <laughs> like to be handled or not so much? Uh, he, he likes to handle you. He doesn't okay. want you to handle him. Uh -huh. He kind of will climb on your arms and he'll be pretty happy with that. And he's very colorful, but these are actually sort of stress colors, right? Because he's in a different environment right now. So right now it's a mixture of being cold and mm -hmm. a little stressed. So he's a little darker. That's, so he's very communicative with his colors. So my, I'm feeling lighter, that's how he's feeling calm. My girl over here, she's doing some intense breathing <laughs> over here. Let's talk about Devin the ball python on honor. Do you want him to come off? Or well, you, it's okay. okay. You, you mentioned that mm -hmm. he would start to tighten up around my neck because I've got warm veins. That's mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a little chilly in here. So he's like, this is a very cozy spot. I want to get warmed up so I can start moving around. So right now he's going to sit very calmly for you. Yeah, and he, he does seem like a really nice snake as far mm -hmm. as snakes go, right? Yeah, and he yeah. doesn't bite, right? I mean, well, so we tell you anything with a mouth can bite, but we're going to pay attention to their body language. So right now I can tell he's kind of flicking his tongue. He's feeling very calm. Okay. So okay, that's really good. good. He feels yeah. calm. Do you feel good enough to keep him on for I feel a, another right. minute? Yeah, okay, I feel okay. Right. because we have to oh, move to get over the here because mm -hmm. the ferrets are coming out, and we okay. want to keep the ferrets away go, from the snake. Yeah, let yes. me back up. Okay, so, so talk about these guys. Samson. These are so I guess cute. Him already. Yes. So this is Jack. Mm -hmm. He's two years old. This is Samson. He's about six. And you say six is kind of old for a ferret. Yep. So they typically live about five to seven years. It's not unheard of for them to be up to nine. So and they're buddies. They are buddies. So they're pretty social, um, so they're domesticated. Mm -hmm. All the other animals here, they're all wild animals, but ferrets have been domesticated for about 2,500 years. Oh my gosh, they're great. And they used to be used to flush out rabbits, is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's why they're domesticated, to be able to hunt rabbits. You are so educational. You guys are located in Severn, and if somebody wants to find you, how do they find you? It's at www.ferretsandfriends.org. Special events, including mm -hmm. birthday parties, baby Media showers, events, whatever you name it. All kinds of stuff. We've done uh, right. age two uh, to 102. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. All right, Ferrets and Friends, thanks so much. Appreciate it.